So one question I often ask myself pretty much every day, and I know a lot of you do in the comments as well, is why Donald Trump hasn't faced justice yet. Why, despite overwhelming evidence in all these cases against him, civil and criminal, has he not been held to account? Why haven't there been charges and indictments and convictions and sentences yet, despite all we know? And many lawyers, including a top former federal prosecutor, are asking the same things, except he makes a guarantee. If a trial is brought against Trump, he says it is a guaranteed conviction. Check this out. So from from the seed of this whole thing is bad faith. It is corruptly under federal law, isn't it? It is. And, and let's remember, it goes all the way back to April when Donald Trump said, listen, in the unlikely event I lose, it will be a product of fraud. So yeah. you, you, he, obviously there was no good faith basis to say the election would be fraudulent. It was still six months away at that point. He was softening the ground for his attempt to steal the election. I mean, all of this being... You know, this is understandable to a third grader, if you put it together. You give me three hours in front of a D.C. jury, I guarantee you they will vote guilty for Donald Trump having, you know, tried to corruptly steal a presidential election. The evidence is overwhelming. It's incontrovertible. And all we need is some strong prosecutors to step up and bring the darn case in court. So that's Glenn Kirshen, who's got a great YouTube channel. You see him on MSNBC and other sources all the time. And I hold his opinion in very high regard. So when he says he could guarantee a conviction against Trump, I'm, you know, inclined to believe him. And so what he's basically saying is, look, the evidence just in the electoral interference case alone, not the tax cases, not the bank fraud cases, not the corporate crimes, just on the election stuff alone, three hours would equal a conviction. And what that means is that the politics and the law are disconnected right now. When you're talking about charging and convicting and sentencing, an ex-president, it's unavoidable. The politics and the law play a role. The law plays a role because just like anybody else, you have to have enough proof to convict him. You don't want to bring charges against someone you can't convict. That makes sense. But there's also the additional challenge of what does it do to society if you charge a former president? And also, what does it do to society if you let him get away with crimes? And so what Glenn is basically implying there, and this is what I've often been saying is that right now the political will is not as strong as the evidence. There is clear enough evidence to convict Donald Trump, but we need more political will. And I understand there's an apprehension to what it'll do to American politics to put Donald Trump in an orange jumpsuit. I get that. But we also have to remember that there are consequences for letting him get away with crimes. The biggest one is that the next wannabe dictator, whether it's Trump himself or DeSantis or Lauren Boebert or Marjorie Taylor Greene or whoever runs for the GOP in the next two or three elections and has an opportunity to commit a coup, they will say, I'm going to try because if I succeed, I get to be president illegitimately or if I fail, nothing will happen to me or anyone close to me. This is the lesson here. Trump is a guaranteed conviction, but Merrick Garland needs to have the intestinal fortitude to get it done. Even lawyers agree.